Greetings and welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how to create a main menu with an options button where you can click in and then adjust the screen resolution. Uh, and this is based on the tutorial on the UnrealEngine.com site, only with my twist. Uh, and it will probably be a long tutorial, so I suggest that if you're in a rush, then you can look in the description below the video and click on the two or three different chapters this video will consist of. So if you don't want to see this introduction where I walk you through the textures and sounds, etc. that I will be using and that you can download, then you can go down and click and start right away or even go further up. So check in the description below if you want to skip ahead. Okay, so um, I have gotten quite a few uh, requests since I created my first main menu tutorial probably almost a year ago. Uh, if I could show people how to adjust the resolution, how to add background music on the menu, and there's also been quite a few requests wanting me to create a new up-to-date menu, even though I've checked the previous one and it seemed uh, okay, but so I thought I'd do it pretty good this time. So I've created a texture pack uh, or a main menu package that you can get and this package as you can see includes sound effects for the buttons background music main menu backgrounds and main menu buttons so as you can see here you have the buttons as they are in themselves and then over here you have the buttons as they are when the mouse is hovering above them and then you have the buttons as they are pressed and you also got the same for the options screen resolution buttons so if you want to use this texture pack for this tutorial then you can and just go into your browser write unrealtutorials.com go to downloadable content textures scroll all the way down and here I have the main menu complete texture plus sound package and just download now then you will get a zip file and there you go Okay, so let's move on. This is uh, the newest version of the engine as of now, 4.9. And I've just opened a first person template. That way we know we have the same fundamental beginning with all the same settings. So what we'll do first now is set up the visual aspects of the main menu and then in the second uh, part of this video we will script the blueprint stuff. Okay, so first of all, click the content folder and then add new, new folder. I'm just going to call this main menu. So all the files I'll be using for this menu will be in that folder so open that folder and take your textures that you have either created yourself or using mine and import all of the things we need so we will need the sounds the backgrounds drag this into the main menu folder Hello. Houston, we have a problem. No, we do not. 
Oh, it's because the main menu mu music file is uh, pretty big. It's about two minutes long. It shouldn't really be, but you know, that's okay. Then open the options button folder and select all, drag those in. And do the same for the main menu buttons. Yes. And also I included the GIMP file in case you want to modify them yourself. So, now we have, have all of these here. That should be everything we need. Save all. And as you can see, we are now in the first person example map level to make sure we know we are there I'm gonna add a material to this wall just to make it stand out choose whichever whatever material you want and then I will go up the file and save as to create a new level which will be the level where we create the main menu so I'll just call that main menu level uh, and we will place that in the maps folder in the first person blueprints or maybe yes that's right so just to make sure go into the first person blueprint and then maps and select the first person example map okay as you can see I now put the texture on the other level but that's okay I'll just put a new material here that did not look, look good <laughs> Okay, that's enough. Then just save that and find the main menu level again and open it. Okay. Yes. So, what we will do now is go back into the main menu folder and right click somewhere where you do not actually select anything oh whatever just take add new user interface and then widget blueprint and call it main menu and open it and I'll attach that up here okay so Here we have the canvas panel and what we want to do is add an image, drag that down here and I'm going to call the image background. This is where we will place the background image and then let's see, yes choose the panel and drag down two vertical boxes into the canvas panel the first vertical box we will call main menu we can call it main menu box whatever and the second one we will call options menu inside each of these we will add what will be the buttons so go up to common and then drag three buttons down to main menu box for start game options and then quit game and on the options menu we will drag down four buttons three for each of the resolutions and one to go back to the main menu And 
and we will name each of these. So double click the first button in the main menu box and we call that start game. Second one, options. Third one, quit game. And then on the buttons on the main menu, let's see. I want to make sure I have got this right for the resolutions. So I'm going to do like this so I can see them. Then the first button will be 640 by 480. Second button will be 1280 by 720. Third button will be 920 by 1080. That's not right. 1920. <laughs> like that. And then the last button. Back to menu. Okay. So, compile and save. Now we can select the main menu box and drag it. Okay, that was that was the wrong one. So if that happens to you, then just put it back, put this button back into the options menu and make sure it's above the other ones. Come on, there we go. Okay. So, then we try again, select the main menu box, and god damn it! Huh. Okay, then just select the main menu box, and up here in the details, make sure the Z order is set to 1 because we want that to be in front of all the others and here check is variable this way we can select it later or reference it and then just drag it out like this just make sure you're actually dragging out the main menu box and not the other ones as you have seen now and then we can select the first button here which is the start game so now we can go down to appearance, style, and then on normal, open that, and here we have the image, so we will select the first image, so I'm just going to write start, no, what was it named, start game, there we go, start game, and I will choose unpressed. And as you can see, it looks really weird, so in the vertical box slot up here, we're gonna change the horizontal alignment and the vertical alignment, take the middle, and align the center. Now you can see it's correct. So, now we will go down to hovered and find the hovered, so start game, and we will use the hovered button. You won't see this until we play it later and you hover it over, over, but it is there. And then down to pressed, and we will find the pressed. So start game, oops, and then pressed. Now, uh, usually if you don't have like an image with text on it, then you will use a text box to write the text. But since I'm using an image with text on it, I don't need to use the text box. So choose the second button, the options button, and you have the same here, so find the options, just write options if you're using mine. And then you take options, unpressed, and we just repeat for hovered, options, hovered, and then pressed, options, and then pressed. And this is the same thing, so we will align it 
and center and center we can see there's no space for the last button here so we need to expand the main menu box I did that by clicking in the main menu field and then we click down here which is the quit game and we repeat parents image just search for quit unpressed hovered hovered and then pressed pressed and then a line in the middle like this now we can select this flower thing and put it in the middle this will make sure it aligns correctly no matter what the screen size is you can also go up to anchors and click here and anchor in the middle actually that's better now compile and save again and we will do exactly the same for the options menu so I'm gonna first scale this up a bit and it will be larger than the start main menu buttons so we will make it a little bit larger it's larger because it's one more button there like this select the first one and then you see you have the same thing so we're gonna line it line it and then find options no it's actually better to just search for the resolution name 640 then unpressed and then hovered 640 oops hovered and pressed 640 pressed and then I don't want to see this start menu while doing this so in the hierarchy here just go to the menu box and click the little I then we won't see it anymore so then click the next button which is the 1280 so I will search for 1280 1280 and then Unpressed, hovered, the lady. Yeah, I'll just do this now without saying it. You know it already. And then nineteen twenty. And then the back to menu. Okay, let's see. Let's see how it is. So that's the start menu. So I want this to be a little bit more like that, perhaps. And then anchor it as well in the middle. So now they are both pretty much in the middle. Okay. So next is to have the background image. So we go and click the background here just compile and save just because and you can drag this out I'm gonna drag it a little bit make it a little bit bigger than the screen to make sure we can't see anything on the sides any small whatever that's called anchor it yeah okay you could just take fill and do that anyway because then it knows it will always fill all of it and be correct so with that selected we do the same we make it take the appearance brush and we will search for backgrounds backgrounds like that no actually I'm gonna use the other one because I think that looks better like this and at last you might want to have um, 
the logo of your game so we can take a new image and drag this down to the canvas panel select it and I'm gonna call it my game logo and I will place this about here yeah you know whether it's actually completely in the middle or not it doesn't matter just make sure you do it correctly when you create your final game so I'm gonna use my logo was it the resolution logo no didn't I put it in really I think I forgot actually yes I did my bad you surely will use your own logo now my game logo boom like that and then anchor in the middle no actually in the top like that okay yes there's actually one more thing so we're gonna take this logo all the way on the top and I'm gonna take all of these a little bit further down because in the options menu we want another image which will which will be the resolution text. I'm just gonna call that resolution text. And now I'm gonna search for resolution. Here we go. Align it. Make this bigger. Take it a little bit up. Now it's starting to look pretty good. Then this can actually come a little bit further down. Okay. Yes. So that's the visual part. So compile, save, and save. Now we will begin the second and last part of this tutorial, which is setting all of this up in Blueprints. So we can go to the graph, delete this, and then we will find, let's see, we will find the main menu box variable and drag this in we will get it no we will not we can just actually hold control down and then drag it in oh not yet my bad right click right click and then take on No, oh, this is what happens, you know, when you're creating a tutorial. Just simply click the variable. Or did I forget something else? No, no, okay, this is what's happening. Since I'm taking the main menu box, which it means I'm actually selecting the vertical box, which is wrong. You can't click the vertical box, you need to click the buttons, so... <laughs> this is why I don't edit my tutorials, because when I do something wrong and I find find out what's wrong, then I can tell you. So, so click Start Game, and then on clicked. here we go. And then simply do that for everything. So next button is Options, so on clicked, 
and then last quit game on clicked now we also have buttons within the options so we will find those so 640 on clicked I will set this up so it resembles the structure here we go and then 1280 whoops here we go and then 1920 on clicked And the last one is back to menu, on clicked. Like this. Now, compile and save. So, the next thing now. On the start game, that's really easy. Just drag it out and search for open level. And we will open the first person example map. So we write first person example map mat. And then drag this out and we take remove from parents because when it's when you click it and the level starts you want to remove the main menu. Let's see, I'm going to create some more space here. And when you click the options button, what you will do is you will hide the main the main menu and you will make the options menu visible. So, you will drag this out and search for visibility, set visibility. And you will have another one of those. Now you can Take the main menu box, drag that in, and then you can get it. And you will do the same for the options menu. Let's see. Or is it just options? No. Oh, good. Back to designer. Click the options menu vertical box here and make sure it is a variable. If it's not, you won't be able to do this. Compile, save, then back to graph. Here we go. Here the option menu is, so drag it in and get it. Now you have this as variables. That's the vertical boxes. <laughs> so what we want to do is make the options menu visible. So connect that to the last one and it's set to visible. And we're going to make the menu box invisible. So we click this and take hidden, like that. So now the options menu is visible and we see the buttons. So what we'll do now is drag out the 640 whoops, node and we will search for exec, execute console command, console command and we'll do this for all of these three so you can just control C control V two times drag it down here down there and connect all of these like that and just to make sure I'm not forgetting anything then on the command you write R dot set res 640 X that is by 480 and then do the same for each of these R set res 1280 by 720 last one R set res 1920 times 180 1080 like that And on the last one, so when you click the back to menu, you're actually going to do the same as you did when you clicked on the options menu, only you will reverse it. 
So you can just select this and copy and paste and drag this down here like that. But now you will make the menu box visible and the options menu hidden. So now the entire options menu is complete. So you go back to the main menu and then you have the quick game option. So then you can use another execute console command exec like this and you can simply in the command write quit. <laughs> now compile and save. Have a little bit of coffee. Sharpen the senses, yes. Okay, so um, then I guess if I have not forgotten something really important, we can go, yeah, compile and save, and then go back into the main menu level and into blueprints, level blueprints. Please resave. Okay. Resaving. Here we will take event begin play and we will make sure to find to display the menu. So we will search for widgets, create widgets. Class will be our main menu. And then drag this out. And it will be... You can just search for a viewport. Add to viewport. And under here, right click and search for... Player... Oops, player controller, get player controller. Then drag out the return value and search for show. No. Oh, what was that? That was that was mouse something. I always forget this. Here, yes, set show mouse cursor and then check that. I'm pretty sure that's right. <laughs> so, compile. Whoops, the target. Yes, the target. Connect the target to the widget. Compile. <laughs> now, I think we can check it. So make sure to now play in new editor, editor window. And here it is. Oh, so as you can see, when you hover the mouse over them, it is selected. So we can try going to options. Now we're in the options. Uh, excuse me. I think I saw something. Yeah, as you can see here. We can still see the menu, the options menu behind the main menu. So let's quit the game and go into our widget again. And in the options menu here, uh, in the visibility, in the behavior, make it hidden. Now I guess it should be gone. Yes. So, options, if you take the 640 now, here it is, little, bigger, and biggest. And back to menu. Let's see if I'm going to make it little. Let's see if we can start the game. Please start the game. Yes. Awesomeness. So, that's it. But now we're going to make it more perfect more perfect also what you might find is that if you just go here now you can shoot <laughs> so you're actually walking around the level and we don't want that so what you need to do 
you need to go to the world settings I think I think it was the world settings yes uh, first person game mode and then on the default pawn class you take just character now okay that's strange oh oh I know I know remove this guy select it and delete it I'm just gonna compile and save and now here we go now it's nothing there's no player in there so that's good now let's just see that it actually still works yes because that guy is still in the second level so that's that's okay okay so time for the absolutely last finishing up now we will this is like you know something we just gotta do so we start by we're gonna put on the sound effects so select the first button and go down to pressed sound I'm not I'm not gonna take hovered sound because it becomes too much sound so I'm just gonna use it as we press and here we have the button push one and two I'm gonna use button push one for the first ones so I'm just gonna add that for all of them like this and then I'm gonna hide the main menu box and I'm gonna make the options visible and select each of these press sound here I'm gonna use the button push 2 button push 2 button push 2 like this compile and save let's see could you hear that right and at last we will put on some menu music so we go into the level blueprint so after all of this is done we're gonna drag out here and simply take play sound at location and in the sound asset I'm gonna search for background no that's wrong I call it main menu music here we go compile and save now drum roll so here you go Yes, so that's it. Now you know how to create a pretty good main menu. So let me know what you think and have a great day.